thanks for watching the next video. We last finished off with the completion of Taibao Wanai Trio. Okay, so here we are getting 100% Hosidia's favor, unlocking the Woodcutting Guild at 75%, and also Tithe Minigame once we're 34 farming because of 100%. Alright, and here is 46 Construction, and that is going to give us the ability to create a Oak Armor Case after creating a costume room so that we can start storing our skilling outfits or outfits in general. We can now store with the armor case by building the oak armor case, 25 sets or items in there. And then because we got the stale baguette, we can now store that as well. We're also going to create an oak wardrobe so that we can store pretty much graceful different items. We can store rods. There's a lot of stuff we'll be able to store here now because of the increase to the storage limit even at the lower construction levels, making it a little bit easier. We also hit 600 total level, which is a little milestone. And here is 42 mining, which means we can now mine the sulfur for a Lova Kingslater. Here's 100% in Piscorilius favor. And here we are completing an easy task and starting to do some Zaya library to get 100% Arceus favor. There's 12 runecrafting. There's 13 rune crafting. Here's 14 rune crafting. And here we are turning it in for 100% Arceus favor. And by finishing up our last remaining books, we should get at least, I believe, 15 rune crafting. And 625 total. Okay, here we are. We are going to complete the first elemental. Current stage one is the earth elemental. And here is finishing the fire elemental. And here we are finishing the air elemental. And last but not least, the water elemental. And that will be the completion of an easy task for Kandaran Easy Diary. Okay, so now we want to get at least 65% favor, and we're going to do that through Volcanic Sulfur. I have kept my Plague Mask so that I can use it just for this, since I have one Slayer. And what we have is an alt here that is essentially splashing this spider, and we have walked on this particular tile. There is three of us, R and Tato and I. Here's me doing it on my own and hitting 65%, so that now I am done with mining. And here I am turning in the Forsaken Tower to get 10% Lova Kench favor from 65%, hopefully, to 75%. And there is the completion of the Forsaken Tower. And I think we... Okay, we have to read this certificate for it. And there is 75% favor. Okay, so now we can get from 75 to 100%, which is really nice, and finish off these favors by essentially going to each individual minecart and unlocking it. And we're nearing the completion of this, and this should give us the last amount we need to finish all the favors. And we'll have an easy access to Chambers of Zarek if we ever want to do that. Here we are completing the last favor, Lova Kench, for 100%. This is the moment we've been waiting for, which is to complete the Architectural Alliance mini quest. And there it is. We can talk to Hosa to get the antique lamp. Now this antique lamp gives a lot of XP, about 10,000 KXP, but you cannot use it unless it is level 40. So we destroyed it and we'll get it later. Here is 38 crafting. Did 32 to be able to unlock the ability to start Light and Journey, but 38 so we can later use that. And here we are starting in Light and Journey. Enjoy a couple of cutscenes.
And here we are planting the willow that will be protected that we need to get the branches from. Just a note there that you do have to actually wait for it to be fully grown and check the health and then wait 30 minutes for your first ability to prune. And here we are getting trained up. By Atlas. Becoming a strong man. The best man we can be. <laughs> I really like that entire cutscene. And we learned an emote. Okay, so here we are going in with Willow and the rest of the chaps to this cave. Nearing the completion of this quest. We find out that Willow's been lying to us the whole time. And now there's an elemental guardian of some sort. We have to run around, but it can smack. And every single time you mine one of these, it does the damage and kills it. But it can KO you, so be careful. There's Romarno. And we've completed Below Ice Mountain. So now we have access to this mining area and the little mini game that's here or just like I guess you could say mini game okay so now these depart his workshop we can go there whenever we want here we are talking to Nicholas doing another quest here this is so that we can Unlock box traps, and also I want to hunt ferrets to the level that I need to catch at least some of the implings that I need for some of the diaries, which will be the earth impling and I think the essence impling. So I think I'm going to need altogether 42 hunter, and there's not really a good way to do it. Also, here is the change that some people may not be aware of of the kebit. You can just essentially give it a taunt option. That way you don't have to do any combat or kill it at all. And there's the feather. Alright, we are getting the last feather. And this is a very annoying quest because of how much you have to run. But here we are, putting them on the door. Putting ourselves in our costume. Passing the eagle and talking to Nicholas. So that we can swiftly finish this quest. But first, we need to trap a ferret, and then you utilize the ferret to catch rabbits. It would be really cool if you could get a ferret pet. And there is the completion of Eagle's Peak. And 36 Hunter, which is perfect for Earth Implings. Here we are getting 32 farming for Rainar Weed. As well as, like I said earlier, you have to wait 30 minutes. So while I'm waiting for that, there is 42 hunters so that I can catch essence implings. So here we are entering into Piro Piro. You don't have to have any quest completed. You just have to hop world so you get the circle. And then you can talk to Elnok to get your first items. There's also been an update to Piro Piro so you can turn off the uh, strength XP you get from going through the wheat. So there I am turning that off. Now, this is some crazy RNG here, as I'm obviously not getting lucky and being horrible, but when it comes to catching my first implings, I loot the first one and get the Earth Talisman, and loot the second one and get a Mind Talisman. So, looks like we're pretty much done here really quickly and have exactly what we need for the Varrock and Falador Diary. So, here we're just working our way through some of the Falador Diary items that we needed to get done in order to complete it. And here we are... Making an Earth Rune for Varrock. And that is Varrock Diary completed. We get the Varrock Armor and then also some Herblore XP. 37 Herblore without really even training it. 
And here we are now heading into the mind altar to make a mind tiara. Completing the Falador Easy Diary. Let's talk to Sir Rebel and get our awesome aesthetic shield, which we probably will wear once in a while, but for now we care more about this lamp and the completion. And there is 38 herb lore we can now make pea pots. Nice. Alright, here we are doing some more Karamja Easy Diary tasks to hopefully wrap up this diary since we've already completed Taibao One-Eye, we've already gotten the Joker Bones. And there is the completion of Karamja Easy Diary. Alright, let's talk to Pirate Jackie and get our Karamja Easy Diary gloves and lamp. Okay, here we are doing some Kandarian Easy Diary tasks because we already completed the main combat piece of that diary. We have most of them done, but here is Enlightened Journey being completed. Talk to August to fly. And here we are. Completing the quest. Hopefully we should get from Enlightened Journey, which we just completed also 34, uh, 33 farming. So we're just shy of 34, which we need, but otherwise we would have been pretty close and that quest would have got us what we need. We also need some more crafting levels for what we're going to do next. So we needed 42 crafting. There's 42 crafting, and that's to make a fishbowl, which was the only thing left that I had to do for the Kandaran Diary. And there is the completion of the Kandaran Diary. Here we are talking to the Wedge to obtain an incredibly helpful hat for standard 10 HP accounts. Not for us, really. Looks pretty cool, though. And the Antique Lamp for the Herblor XP. 39 Herblor. Almost 40, and then we can use our other lamp. Now we are completing some of the Karend and Kevos Easy Diary tasks because in the prior video you saw me kill a Sand Crab, so we've done the combat for this diary as well. Getting the Limpwort seat was the most annoying part because I didn't have any limps and you need to make a Strength Pot in the bar. There is the completion of the Karend and Kevos area diary. And here I am getting the lamp as well as the Rada's Blessing, which is actually nice because you can teleport to Karend with it. No level, we're barely there. Here I am actually just obtaining the Incondo, I forget what you call it. What is it called? Yeah, Incando Inca Hammer. And then also I got a bunch of Baronite Heads and some Antiques, so I'm turning these in for some free kudos. I just wanted to test it out, but I'm not going to camp it. Here I am using one lamp to get to, hopefully, 40 Herblore. And that means we can now use the other lamp. And this should be a good 10k experience to Herblore. We've got 42 Herblore and we've really not even trained it. Really nice. We're almost a super attack. There is 34 farming, which means we can now actually go to do Tithe. So at this point, we really need to get... 45 herb lore for super attacks, and we also need to get the farming level that's required to actually grow those irits and finish up some of the supplies for Guthix Res. And then we will go for finishing all the quests that we can on this account. Once we have all of the quests done, I will be going for all of the skilling outfits that are possible, give or take a couple of them or the upgrades to them in the next video. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.